it's not 2018, right? 2018. Uh, this, uh, what about 2028? What about 2038? What about 2048? Yeah, so you have an issue, right? Because, uh, I, and, and I think that I cannot predict, I cannot predict what's going to happen in 10 years' time, 20 years, 30 years' time, right? But 30 years is not that far away. If you're 30, to 30 years and you're 60, you'll be like me. And the last 30 years just came and went like that. Yeah? So what are the things which are going to be important to us, right? So I really talk about the first bunch about analytics and automation. That is going to be our primary axis. The second one is about platform and crops I've talked to you about. You really got to understand behavioral data. You don't have very data, all the data we do will be replaced. Not actually in two years' time, not actually in five years' time, but 10, 20, 30 years' time. It will come into being because the kind of data and smoothing we do uh, is going to be out of by the time we publish it. By the time we publish it, it takes so long to compile life data. But pricing, valuation, and product design is going to be based on that data. And when the regulators change, it will be a reflection of the industry change. When industry change, it will change very quickly. Yeah. The second bunch is about uh, 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 longevity, sustainability, genetics. Right? Uh, can you imagine, right? Uh, in, the, uh, in terms of underwriting, the improvement of genetics and how well we can have a good sense of a person's expected longevity. So where is pooling when you have a good sense? Except for accidents, you know roughly how a person is going to decline on an individual basis, not just age, sex, and smoker and non-smoker, but on an individual, because you have all the data, social, behavioral, variables, health, medical reports, prescription, the food you take. So how are we going to do that, right? And autonomous vehicles, uh, it's going to be in Singapore in 10 years, 15, 20 years time. That is not a question at all, right? It's not a question. So is there a big deal for GI? Not really. You just change the policy uh, contract, right? It's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is the number of accidents are going to shrink from 100 to 10. So the risk pool is going to shrink. So what do motor insurers do? That is the question. Not so much of reorganizing the contract. Same with life, yeah? So the whole fundamental challenge to what we build or the whole industry about will be, will be challenged, right? Climate change, another interesting area. Many actuaries are working there. Many actuaries are working there in the UK and the US. Something for us to look at. Smart contracts and blockchain, right? I, I mean, I, 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 since I left NTUC uh, to become a full-time uh, retiree, I, I, I had to fill out forms, right? And it's crazy, you know, you just fill out forms for general, it takes six weeks, and then you fill out the same forms for applying certain contracts, then you apply another set of forms for the same bank uh, to, do, uh, to open a safe deposit box. I mean, it's crazy. But what you need is just one know your customer and the price of everything in Singapore. The address is not change, right? She may not get up. But we have great legacy system. A smart chain, uh, 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 blockchain will be an answer to that. So where are we on that? And life insurance contract, as we know today, is too opaque. Nobody understands it. Even the actuaries don't understand it. All these people, profit bonus and how they declare bonuses and all that. And, and UK is gone. Yeah, pension scheme in the UK is gone. But we're still selling a lot of this. So the whole life insurance contract has to be deconstructed to understand the ele essential elements of savings and behavioral finance. And how can we do that? The last one is about revolution in personal GI and also and also uh, uh, health. Because health is a big thing. So the impact is going to be massive over the next 30 years. I chose my words carefully because in, in three years' time, the company say it hasn't changed yet. It's probably true. Yeah, but I'll tell you about how the tyranny of time uh, can creep on on us. And that will bring us to the actual conundrum. Actual conundrum. Uh, because this dimension of time is an interesting one. Uh, uh, and, and I give a this quote. Uh, this is a well <laughs> of the Treasury Secretary as well as uh, President, of Howard, President of Howard. He said that uh, for many things that life holds, that things take longer to happen than you think it will. And then happen faster than you thought you think it. And I have two ways to think about it. Right? Uh, in, when I, in, in French at the time, in 1998, 1999, we were very afraid of alternative distribution system. So people would come uh, and disrupt our agency force. And then, then they don't even have bank assurance. We're starting with stand chart. Uh, then I, we, I thought that digital will be in Singapore in the next 10, 15 years, but it isn't. A lot of it is still done through face-to-face. Uh, -face. So, so things are quite right. So the paradigm new way is what for some truth in it. And I thought alternative insurance, like uh, distribution, like bank insurance, right, uh, will give a, a cheaper form of alternative because it has become more expensive. The bank insurance contracts they sign with the banks uh, are, are very expensive. Yeah, so it, it's all go the other way, right? But it's still there. But how will it happen? I don't know. But I can give you another story. In 2007, 
when I just started an income, uh, you have companies or shops like uh, uh, Virgin, Virgin, H and B, H and B. What's the the third one? H and B, Tower, huh? Tower. Tower Records. Yeah, you remember it's 2007. But today where are they? Eh? They're no more already. But it's only 10 years ago because iPhone was launched in 2007. After that, Netflix. And it just happened, just like that, just like that. So two months ago, I was in China. So my guy and also a friend told me that their house don't have don't have uh, 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 keys, they only use fingerprint. Oh, I said that, okay, but I said it's not a big deal, huh? because my laptop I still use fingerprint, my iPhone, it's not a big deal. Then I realized that if I'm a locksmith in China, it's a big deal. Huh? If I'm 55 years old, I have enough whole houses can do. But if my father want to hand over the business to me at 25, I say SHIT, right? <laughs> because it's no longer mechanical, it's digital. So what do I do? And I tell you about the story of the taxi driver in Singapore. The taxi driver at age 25, you really got to figure out how you navigate the moral back paradigms. Uh, because the answer will be different for different ones. So it's a, it's a big issue, right? It's a big issue for those who are affected. So of course, if, if you're not affected by the industry, then you are okay. You are okay. So the way I, I frame the issue, so instead of thinking it as a sale as a pure box, which it is, you have not done the wrong thing. You're not done wrong thing. You're chosen the right box. Because if you're a doctor, the same thing. Radiologist is even worse, right? If you're a paralegal, also uh, quite quite difficult because the jobs are always going to be replaced. Radiologists, for instance, right, they learn a lot about all these scans. The, the AI can do it much quicker and much more with intuition. With intuition. Because they were in a database, this guy can cancer, not learn cancer, where is the growth? No? Very fast. So no point in studying radiologists for a long, it's a long, long course, a long course, right? Paralegal as well, tax case is all gone, right? So the question is, therefore the same and secure box you have, you must turn it. You must turn the same and secure box as a springboard for the future. Because things are going to network, less hierarchical, dynamic, multidisciplinary. So what I suggest, you change the springboard for the future, and then therefore you can expand into various domains, yeah? Various domains. And, and, and I will talk about the new skill sets, right? These new skill sets, uh, they're not exactly, uh, this is not exactly an original slide. You think about it, it's quite logical. But I organize it in a way which is useful for actuaries. Useful for actuaries with your mentality. Because I know that you guys are serious people who want to do well in life. I use the word mentality, like Asians, mentality. And you can apply the growth mindset that you have to learn all these new things to make sure that you can remain as an economic actor for a long time to come. For a long time to come. New domains, automation, analytics, platforms, crowd, genetics, autonomous, climate change, and smart contracts. You can go down to the books, right? Uh, you can look at the, uh, the, the, industri the fourth industrial revolution published by the World Economic Forum and all the jobs we identified, new competencies we have. But I curated it. I curated it in such a way that it makes sense for actuaries working in Singapore. For actuaries working in Singapore. 